night, a driver is charged with drag racing after police say he hit a police cruiser and another car before rolling his own car over. It is a story that we first told you about on Eyewitness News this morning. Happened shortly after 1 o'clock this morning on Broad Street in Providence. And tonight, we're learning more about the crash and the suspect. Eyewitness News reporter Maura Kennedy joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the details. Maura? Catherine, taking a look over here, walk over with me. This is actually the tree that police say the driver hit before rolling the vehicle a few times. That actually ended the police chase, and now the driver faces a slew of charges. Drag racing is something most people know from watching movies, but Mike Jeffries has been living off of Broad Street his whole life and says it's something that happens more often than people think. There'll be drag races going on sometimes in secret locations. That's why he's not surprised to hear about a Sunday morning drag race that ended up in a police chase. Providence police tell us they spotted two vehicles speeding down Ernest Street, drag racing around one in the morning. Police were able to stop one one of them before it sped off, almost hitting an officer on foot. That's when the police chase started. It lasted at least a mile before police say the driver backed into a police cruiser and then jumped on the sidewalk hoping to get away, but ended up hitting another vehicle before crashing into this tree on Broad Street and then rolling over. Police say the driver and two passengers tried to flee, but police were able to catch up with them shortly after. There's always a police chase out here every night, pretty much. Police say the driver, 27-year-old Jonathan Naives, was charged with drag racing, driving without a license, and multiple motor vehicle violations. This is not Naives' first offense. According to the Rhode Island Judiciary website, he faces multiple motor vehicle offenses and felony assault charges. It's too many, too much bad, too much bad stuff been going around for a while, and summer's around the corner too, so. It's inevitable. My friend graduated law school. So say the driver and two passengers in his vehicle suffered minor injuries. Also, the two people who were hit in the Acura also suffered minor injuries, but they refused treatment and police were not injured as well. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Mark Kennedy, Eyewitness News.